What is up, players? It is Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to a project update for the commission work I'm doing. I haven't been able to get into much other work this uh, these past couple of days as the new year began because I've been working so hard on getting these commissions done. I have pulled aside the bits I'm going to be using for the Itik Beer New Year Challenge for 2016, but I have been working really hard on these Iron Hands as well as all of the other the Black Templars, and I, I've got some Tyranids coming up for a different commission. But I'm uh, just trucking along, and I hope you are all doing well too with your painting commitments and all of your work. So let me tell you how I did these Centurions. These are for a commission at a war boss level, so that means base coat, shades, highlights some transfers and a very I think high tabletop quality high standard and I'm very happy with the way they came out the weapons are not on the models the weapons are magnetized so they're gonna come out a little bit differently you'll notice that the light reflects and there's a little bit of glossy shine to these models this was a purposeful choice on my part I wanted these models to really stick out on the battlefield and because they are iron hands they really really are into and they revere their weaponry and their machinery and uh, I thought that as such holy and uh, venerable and respected pieces of equipment, these Centurion suits would get a lot of gloss and a lot of shine and a lot of care and maintenance. So that's that was kind of like an artistic choice I made. The regular Space Marines, the Tactical Marines, and uh, definitely the, uh, I guess, the six bikers that I've got to work on the commission as well, they're not going to get so much shine to them. Also, I think it's this camera and the light is right over the left corner of the screen. So I think that's really creating a lot of, of uh, shine to it that really I'm looking at the model over my computer right now as I'm filming it and I don't, you don't really see it as much, but I think because of the light and the camera, it's really picking it up. All right, let me walk through what I did. Base coat in black. If you want to copy this color scheme, I'm going to give you a little quick and dirty mini tutorial right now for how you can accomplish what I did. I first spray primed them, spray primed them with a black primer, and then all of the armor plates got a highlight along the edges of Dark Reaper and then Rust Gray. I heard a terrible, horrible, sad, sad rumor that one of my favorite colors, Dark Reaper, which I use not only for highlighting black, but also for base coating my Death Corps of Krieg coats for the uh, Grenadiers. I, I use them for I use it for so much. They are they Games Workshop are going to be discontinuing it along with some other colors. I think uh, Warp Fiend Gray. The guy at the at my hobby shop, uh, Garrett, he said that it was um, some of the the, the the pinkish and purple grays. I, th I think that's what he said. So I'm kind of sad. That's that's really a shame because I love Dark Reaper. I, I haven't used Warp Fiend Gray, but I do have one pot because I was planning on doing something with a kind of um, gray tone to it. Oh, I remember. It was the, the Party Girls skin was going to be that color. And uh, I kind of mixed and matched with some other colors. But I, I'm, I'm always kind of bummed out when they discontinue some of their paints. Reminds me of when they overhauled their paint system and they got rid of some of my favorite paints, Deneb Stone and Talar and Flesh. That is just too, too bad. Anyways, after highlighting all of the edges and the ridges and the curves with Dark Reaper and Rust Gray, I let the black armor sit for a while and I went to work on the silver bits. Silver is basically Lead Belcher and the gold is Balthazar Gold. I wanted the um, the iron and the works to look a little bit oily and used. and So that's why I when we get to the highlights, I only worked on the parts that would that would not be all oily and greasy so uh, moving on the I guess any parchment seals purity seals were done with corn red for the wax and rack art flesh the skin for the leader here is done in rack art flesh and then once all the base coats were done shaded everything with known oil the whole thing and what that ended up doing was uh, creating a little bit of a cloudy, dusty, dirty kind of film to the finish. And I'm not really happy with that. I kind of don't like how it really dulls down the metallics, which it's supposed to do. But not only just the metallics, but the black plates looked really cloudy and white, like uh, <laughs> misty and foggy. Got those two words mixed up in my brain. So that's why I wanted to bring them back up. So I had to repaint most of the flat black areas with Abaddon Black. 
And then I decided, you know, for adding these transfers, everybody says you should put gl gloss coat or hard coat first, and that's to create a nice smooth surface for the transfers to stick to. I, I really recommend that. It was while I was doing that hard coat that I thought, hmm, I wonder if I should do it for all the black armor and just make it look really, really nice and slick. So. I did that. That came out really, really well. I applied the transfers. Again, I used the transfers from the Iron Hands transfer sheet. It's It was a limited edition release that I don't think Games Workshop sells on their website anymore. So if you want to find them, you're going to have to look through eBay. I think once I finish using all of mine, they're going to be gone unless I can find some more. Hopefully, Games Workshop will release Iron Hands transfers before that happens. Or Forge World. Oh, I'd hate to hate for, uh, hate to pray pay Forge World prices for them though but I'll do it because Iron Hands is a great army I think if I ever do collect a Space Marines army they might be they might be the ones that I choose if I'm going to choose like a loyalist chapter they're really really cool very very strong in game too but I like their fluff I love that that whole uh, the flesh is weak and we make ourselves inhuman to protect humanity and we'll never be we'll never be a part of humanity but we'll always be separate I like that uh, where did I get to? So the known oil, once that was dry, I highlighted up the gold again with Balthazar, and then I highlighted that with Retributor Armor, that bright, shiny yellow gold. The silver, I did Lead Belcher. I brought it back up, leaving the darkened known oil in the shades and the under areas. And then I highlighted that with Rune Fang Steel, which creates another nice, shiny, high polish, reflective look. The uh, parchment got rehighlighted with Rackarth Flesh, and then I painted in some some words to the scrolls, like that's Manus. I think there's another one that says uh, Iron. And then what else? That's the black, that's the silver, that's the gold parchment. Oh, I, I highlighted the seals with Mephiston Red. Put on, yeah, put on the transfers. And then I also use Microsol and Microset for the transfers. They really, really help. And then I painted over the transfers. Once you have a transfer on, you can kind of tell it's a transfer, not only because of the plastic shine around it that you want to get rid of, but because the transfers themselves are just one color, usually like this kind of gray white. So I took my Vallejo white paint and I highlighted all of the transfers. And I think they look great now. For the skin, I rehighlighted with Rackarth Flesh. I added a little bit more of white to the teeth to, to make those stand out. I, uh, I painted, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Let's see if we can focus on his left area of his head. I painted an Imperial Eagle by taking some thin down Abaddon Black. And then I basically painted a cross. So a little bit longer on the bottom, a little bit shorter on the top. And then, yeah, basically like a... I don't want to say a crucifix, but like a, 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 min a lowercase t. And then I added a little bit of, of wings. Like I kind of added a little bit down um, where the wings meet the body. And then I just cleaned it up with Rackarth Flesh. And then once that was dry, it was way too black. So I took some thinned down Rackarth Flesh and I just glazed the top. Kind of like what I do when I'm painting stubble on. You just glaze the skin color over whatever is design is on the head or hair that's starting to appear. And yeah, you get a beautiful little looking tattoo there. I also, okay, this was a little bit of a war massive touch that I'm, I'm glad I did. Look at his right eye lens. Oh, I do have to paint that blue. Under his right eye lens, there is a wire that leads from his, from that eyepiece down to his chin. And I had painted that in black and then I painted it in red because I thought, oh, maybe a red wire. But it looked like it was just like a trail of blood. You don't really see it. So I kind of wanted to make it two things. First, I wanted to make it look a little bit more, I guess, uh, inconspicuous. And two, I wanted to give it some color so it didn't look just like a shadow, like a line, a black line down his the right side of his face. So I took some Uriel yellow and I colored it in like hazard stripes. And you're not really going to see this unless you pick the model up in your hand and look at it. But I'm very, I'm very pleased with how that came out. I'm going to kind of hold it here for a couple more seconds because if, <laughs> if YouTube chooses this as the thumbnail, then I'll be very happy. You'll also find that when you are shading, I guess, a model that looks a little bit more uh, inhuman with dead skin but is still kind of alive, just like pale, sickly skin, using known oil 
water down on top of Rackarth Flesh and then highlighting back up with Rackarth Flesh gives you a really great kind of sickly looking pale dead sallow skin look. So I'm really happy with the way that came out. You don't even have to paint in um, too much of like shading after that because the, the known oil naturally gives you a really really nice shadow I guess palette all over the face. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little look at my Iron Hands Centurions here. I'm going to work on their weapons and try to finish up the rest of the commission this week. This is the next thing on my block. If I can get it done, then, hey, guess what? I can get started on Idig Beer's challenge uh, project proper. I can really dive into that. I've also got some rewards for my Patreon subscribers those uh, who have donated up to $15, I've got some orders in for what they want for their custom Space Marines. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to put all that, all of that work up on Patreon as well as on YouTube. So you guys can really, really follow along with that. And then if you want to see extra, I guess, behind the scenes camera footage and shots and commentary, then you can, of course, check out my Patreon feed. It's totally free for now. At the end of January, I'm going to uh, set it back to a dollar a month subscription. I think that's a really, really cheap way to get into supporting my studio. If you like the work that I do and want to see me continue to put up video uh, reports and progress and studio updates and uh, of course tutorials, then you can definitely uh, help out my studio by, by subscribing to me there at Patreon. I'll put the link down below. And I really appreciate all the support, you guys. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the work that I did. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great weekend. Downton Abbey tonight. The Lady Boss and I are super excited. It's the last season. Oh my gosh. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye.